welcome to Light Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. <laughs> In front of us we have the Thor Fire. This is a rechargeable camping lantern that I found on Amazon for 16 bucks. I'm a sucker for a name, Thor Fire, pretty awesome name, and orange color, yeah. And here it is. <laughs> So, yep, let's take a look. Picture of the lantern. This is a flashlight and lantern in one. It's kind of a neat idea. I was like, oh, that's really cool. 16 bucks, yeah, let's get it. Um, they got their own website, Thor Fire Direct. Okay, awesome. There's a picture of the flashlight extended to lantern mode. Awesome. Some information here, 100% guarantee, sweet. 80% energy saving. Uh, okay. Long life up to 50,000 hours. I'm guessing that's the LED bulb. Sticker here. And this side here, just disregard this information because this box must be used for their other model. They have one that has the dynamo crank, which this is the one that has a dynamo. And there's one that has just a solar panel. I chose the one with the dynamo. Thought it most practical. Let's go ahead and open this up. See what we get for our 16 bucks. Yeah, I was all excited about this one. Thor fire. <laughs> yeah. So it comes packed pretty well. It's got this little styrofoam top. Get rid of that. You can see here's the lantern. We'll look at that in a moment. The bottom of the box, we got a little spacer. We got a manual. And we have a cable. All right, charging cable. Sweet, nice to see that. <laughs> we know, you know, this channel's all about portable radios. We get these all the time. <laughs> so yeah, they get a micro USB charging to charge the lantern and also to charge external devices. Sweet. Next we have the manual. And the manual is pretty simple. <laughs> the manual. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and open this up. I'm going to kind of do a quick overview um, of the technical parameters. This reminds me exactly of the Duronic Hurricane. It has the exact same setup <laughs> with the parts life and everything. I wonder if it's the same company building these things. So up here, you can see up here, the lighting is 65 lumens on high. On low, it's 15 lumens uh, when you're in a flashlight mode. In lantern mode, it just reduces a couple, I guess, because light, light dispersion, I'm guessing that. A uh, fully charged time, four hours to charge it with the USB, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see, uh, it talks about dynamo cranking. Um, they advertise uh, there, it says high level lighting after one minute of cranking equals four minutes. That is true. I did this, I actually waited for the light to be completely dead then cranked it for one minute, three revolutions per second, and I got four minutes of light out of it. So it's pretty, yeah, it's dead on. So there you go. Um, it talks about uh, how long you have on those brightnesses there. So it looks like 40 minutes on high and 4.5 hours on low. So there you go. Uh, power source and weight 168 grams. The um, neat thing about this thing, it's really portable. I do like that. I do like the fact that it has a dynamo built into it. The fact I don't like is that it has kind of a weak battery, and I don't know if they show it in here. There it is. A 300 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt battery. I think the reason why they do that is to have room for the dynamo crank and to make it easy to charge and use in short term situations. That's just me. Let's get to the light. Here it is. The Thor fire. <laughs> Looks kind of funky from this end. Um, score dimensions. So the height when collapsed is about two inches. When fully extended here, which I'll show you. You kind of just pull these two halves apart. There you go, and it kind of accordions out here. I don't know how long this is going to last going in and out. You can see it's crinkled on the bottom a little bit. I think it's about as much as I'm going to get out of it. It's about five inches fully extended. Um, diameter, we have a diameter of approximately uh, three and three eighths of an inch. So we'll do some size comparison. I'm going to leave it open. Let me go ahead and just bring this camera up. And let's get the Thor fire name showing. Where's the? There it is. Thor fire, <laughs> dudes. This is the most awesome name. <laughs> it's a lot like wonky looking. <laughs> yeah, it works pretty good actually. I like the setup. So we have the Duronic Hurricane. Um, pretty awesome lantern for almost just a couple dollars more. <laughs> Do I get this a little higher here. Jeez, that Hurricane's a big lantern. Now the only thing that makes this special is it can collapse in that two-inch form factor, which is great. <clears throat> but this is like a, definitely a more durable lantern here, um, especially when using the dynamo. We'll talk about that. The dynamo on this Thor fire, it works, but it's not so fun. <laughs> we'll talk. But there you go. There's the 
Hurricane 4 and 1. I do like this. You can check my iCard section up there for a review of that lantern. I really like that lantern. Uh, next we have a, I don't know, D-cell battery. I'll bring this back down. Don't quite need the height now. So there's a D-cell battery. Give you an idea for that. And then we have, what else we got here? We got a little flashlight, a little AAA micro stream by Streamlight. Sweet flashlight. Love this flashlight. Um, there you go. AAA flashlight. Single. Beautiful. And then we have a deck of cards to give you an idea for that. Very nice. So I can get you all the angles. An idea for dimensions. All right. Pretty cool. So let's look at features of the Thor Fire. <laughs> you guys are probably tired of that already, but you know what? It's fun. <laughs> uh, features number one collapsible. Yeah. Boom, done. Now you can put it in your purse, backpack, whatever. I think this is really cool for a backpack item. If you're traveling light, this is the way to go. I mean, I mean, this is a fantastic. Love the orange color. It gets really nice. Um, I'm seeing it's kind of blending on the red. So what I'll do is I'll bring this out. And we can see that orange better. So there you go. Now you can see that orange really nice. Orange and black got that pumpkin Halloween look. Definitely cool. So there it is collapsed. Uh, top here with the flashlight mode. So we have a high beam, which is 65 lumens, which this is the power button here. Press that. This is our high. I'm sorry. No, it starts on low. It starts on low. And then you hit it one more time and it goes to bright. So it says 15 lumen on low, which I think it's a little higher than advertised and 65 on high. So I'm thinking it's like a 30 on low and probably 65 or 70 on high. But that's our power switch. And that's our flashlight mode. Works out really good. It's got like a lens over the LED there. Once fully collapsed. Very cool. Thorfire name behind here. We have the charging input to charge the battery inside. And of course we have the output to charge external devices. It works pretty well. I don't think I have to demo that. Here we have a charging light indicator as you, here I'll show you at the dynamo on the bottom. As you spin, you can see the little light comes on and you're charging the battery. Now this dynamo is kind of a pain. If you look, it has kind of like this weird dished in area and these are sharp corners. So like when you're holding this, and you're spinning the dynamo, after a while, these little sharp corners start biting into your hand. <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, call me a weakling, but yeah, I felt that. And I'm like, man, and this little tiny handle, yeah, it's, uh, it's just meant for emergencies only. I would probably only use this in an emergency, but that's me. Uh, on the bottom, we have a little hook handle here. Now, it's pretty lightweight. I really wouldn't put a lot more weight on this. I would not, uh, like some people use this and try to pull the lantern apart. Don't do that. You'll break this handle off. It's very, very thin. You know, grab it here. Just work it apart. It just has these little clips. I don't know how long that's going to last, but, well, try it and see. So let's go ahead and uh, show you some pictures, and then we'll do a little demo on the desk here. So let's go to my garage first. Now here you see some pictures. The lantern is on high, hanging from my garage door opener to kind of give you an idea how it lights up a garage space. On high, it did actually do a decent job, uh, but there's quite a bit of shadow still. It's not like my larger uh, siege lantern. This next picture is on low. You see a drastic difference here, of course. Uh, low giving only 15 lumens advertised. And now I decided to do flashlight mode. So here I'm spotting the garage door from 15 feet away uh, on high. Uh, so it has a nice spot, if you noticed. It does have a blue-white characteristic to it, but it's an inexpensive light. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. And on low, still usable. Um, you can see it here. It's uh, diminished a bit. All right, so next I got some more pictures. Yeah. So I took some pictures of this lantern running on a table. And this first picture is it running at 100%, just fully charged, uh, zero hour, the first minute, and uh, it's nice and bright. You can see it's lighting up the table. And this is a really good representation of how much this light can do. It can pretty much light up a tent for two or four people and who can comfortably read on high. Probably do a little bit of reading on, on low, but I wouldn't recommend it. High seems to be the best setting for reading or doing any kind of technical work. And low, pretty much for finding things inside the tent or a small area or a small dining room table or a card table. Uh, next picture here, uh, it's an hour in. It's 90% level. You look, there's just a slight difference between this first, the first picture and this second picture here. Uh, one hour just diminished just a tiny bit. They said 40 minutes it would be dead, and it's still rocking here at 90%. So just a slight, slight uh, drop off in light. This next picture is two hours in, and now it's a huge drastic difference. It dropped about 40% light, and uh, I noticed a huge drop off after about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half. 
saw it dim dimming as the time went on there to two hours. And our final picture here, it's uh, three hours in and we're at 10%. So you can see how this lantern um, handles all the way down to three hours. Now at three hours, it's 10%. You can still probably go to the bathroom with this light, but it's pretty much getting to a point where it's got to be recharged. And that's when I took and spun up the dynamo and it worked. So let's go back to the table. Here we are. So yeah, pretty cool pictures there. Um, really hopefully it helps you out, gives you an idea. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little demo here, and then we'll give you final thoughts on this lantern. Go ahead and turn this light off here. I'm going to go ahead and just extend this right now. Yeah. <laughs> here we are. Love it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on low. And turn it on. Low setting. Nice. So now we're in lantern mode. You can see it's doing a good job. Up here, the, the light doesn't really do the flashlight. You can see there's no beam for the flashlight, just a little bit of light there. Mainly we're getting all the light through the sides, which is nice. So here is a deck of cards, and then uh, let's see what else I got laying around here. I'm sure I got a, a radio we can put up here. Yeah. Let's do some uh, shortwave listening. How about that? There you go. We've got a shortwave radio here. Now you really can't, I guess if you turned it up right there, you can see how you're tuning your dial there at low power. Not bad. So we got that. So let's go switch this up to high. Now we're at the highest setting. That's how I took the pictures there. And now we can view our radio fairly easily here. I'm not sure this is lighting up as good as it did on the picture because in person it's seen a little differently. This camera's adjusting, of course. But uh, there you go. You can read this. This is really clear. This is actually a really good light source for reading by and have dinner by. Um, you can hold it like this. I'm yeah, holding it edgewise to light the room up too. So there we are. And now let's go ahead and go to spot mode. So we'll push this all the way down to get our flashlight. And right now we're on high. And you can kind of see how it beams the table there. And if I switch to low, and there's our low setting. Not too bad. I actually like the low better. Seems to be better. It's not so intense. There you go. And you can read your radio and play your cards. So there you are. Okay, let's go ahead and turn some lights back on. And do final thoughts. All right, on the Thor fire. Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> it's even getting brighter. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a realistic analog radio. Pretty awesome radio. All right, so there it is a Thor fire in this collapse mode. Let's get this back out so you can see that cool orange color. I do like that color. Um, so, is it a buy at uh, $16.90 or $16? Bucks? Probably not. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Dynamo. Um, the only reason why I picked this out is because, I'll be honest with you, if you forgot your batteries or you forgot to solar charge it up, uh, you're out of luck. Here, at least you got on demand. You can get up there and you can, yeah, and now I got my light. And that's good because it could be dark out and here you got light source. I do think that's nice, you know, having a dynamo-driven light. It would be nice if it had both, but there's not much room for both on here. You just get the one or the other. Uh, so what that said is they have a solar model with a solar panel on the bottom with a rated battery of 1,800 milliamp hours versus the 300 that's in this thing. And then you rate that radio, that, radio, <laughs> that lantern, at 8 hours on high and 24 hours on low. So huge difference in time. And uh, would I recommend that one? Possibly, because it is solar powered. Um, and then you can still charge it through the front. It has a rechargeable input. So some people might carry one of those battery power banks that are rechargeable. That's a good idea. So I might feature that one. I'll have links below to it, uh, to the solar one and to this one. If you're interested in the Dynamo version, um, I actually think this is cool to have a Dynamo version just in case, one of those things. But I think I'd spend a few bucks more if space was an issue and just get this one here. Uh, go with the bigger Hurricane where you got the lantern, dedicated bottom, I mean flashlight bottom and dedicated lantern on top. This Dynamo is much easier to use. This is much more robust of a hook. Uh, you know, I love the handle setup. So this is what I'd probably get. But uh, if you need space as a premium, then this isn't a bad thing. One quick thing I want to mention is that I would probably, I picked this up because it was really cheap. Look what I found. I found the same exact device by Ivation. It's, you know, it's the same style. It's the same light, just different names. Thorfire sounds cooler. But this here is the same light, uh, but no solar and no dynamo. It's driven on three AA batteries. So there you go. You got your same flashlight, but running on three AA batteries. It's going to last a lot longer and be ready to go in a moment's notice as long as you make sure you store batteries. So if you need that compact storage, um, and you don't need to be charging devices or, or trying to spin this dynamo like crazy to get an hour of light, go with the one that takes the batteries, and you'll probably have this for a day or two of light. Uh, that's the way I would do it. 
Uh, but there you go. Um, I may review this one in the future. This costs six ninety nine versus sixteen fifty or whatever this one's running. You know, so you can buy two of these with some batteries, and you're good to go for an emergency situation. Just keep the batteries stored separately, and there you are. Okay, I thought I'd show it to you. So there you go, the Thor Fire rechargeable lantern. Um, yeah, it's a it's a maybe buy from Tybert, um, just because it's not a very high capacity and a dynamo is not fun to spin, <laughs> not at all. But there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed the future presentation of the Thor Fire. I like this name. It's pretty awesome. Uh, maybe I'll get the solar one just to mess with, see how that fares, and we'll go from there. Uh, if you're new to the channel uh, with the light waves and you enjoy these flashlights, lanterns, rechargeable lanterns, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future videos. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the Thor Fire dynamo-driven model. Uh, it'll be something you get. You like the idea of it collapsing. Do you see that lasting long? I don't know. I, I just kind of on the fence about that um, but that's uh, it's really cool though that it can go down to hockey puck size and you're ready to rock <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video